resolution time. So along with the fitness plan and the eating plan, we have to take care of our teeth and set an oral health plan. So we have an expert in that field. He's also the founder of the Goodwill Oral Health Project. Dr. Gary Glassman is here. Hi. Hi, Val. How are you today? I'm good. I mean, you're all over the world. People really turn to you for uh, really critical advice on this subject, right? They do, absolutely. I go around the world, I lecture and teach dentists the greatest and latest in technique and technology so they can provide their patients with the best possible care. And is this you uh, in your own clinic or is this you uh, out in the field teaching that people? That is me in my clinic working under a microscope. We want to magnify things. We want to make sure our posture is excellent as well so we can maintain our longevity in this wonderful career that we've chosen. So the patient's down there and you use a microscope. That's interesting. That's correct. That, that allows you to really see every single uh, cell in that too. It magnifies everything so we miss very, very little and allows us to provide our patients with the most predictable care possible. Cool. All right. So oral health New Year's resolutions. What are the key things we need to be thinking about? Number one thing, visit your dentist regularly. That's very important. It's true. It's one of those things it's easy to say, oh, I can't afford it right now, but the bills get a lot more expensive if you miss, right? Absolutely. Small problems, small solutions. Bigger problems, bigger solutions, more expensive solutions as well. You know the phrase, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. And what sorts of things could happen if we don't visit our dentist as regularly as we should? Well, get tooth decay. Right. Right. Take care of the small tooth decays and small cavities, and you'll prevent bigger problems like root canal treatment oh. and possibly extractions. Ah. Oh, that's awful. Are we supposed to be flossing every day? Is that really critical? It is absolutely critical and necessary because only 25% of the population flosses regularly. And if you don't floss, then you're going to miss up to or more than 40% of the tooth surfaces. Seriously? That's correct. There's that much that's hidden in between the teeth? There's food caught in there, there's plaque buildup, all kinds of debris. So you got to get in there and you got to floss those teeth and you got to do it properly. Okay. Are we allowed to use those um, uh, toothpicky things? Yeah, the toothpicky things are nice. They're disposable, but you got to be very careful because if you jam them in your gums, you could end up irritating the gums. Oh, yeah. So just sort of saw it gently through the teeth, through the contacts, and just very gently go around each tooth surface. I can't go anywhere without a bunch of those in my purse because the older I get, the more space I seem to have and the more I collect in between my teeth. What about this thing about our toothbrushes. Uh, they're manufactured fairly well, uh, and yet you're saying we have to replace them quite often. How often? Every two to three months. Even or, if they look okay? Even if they look okay, every two to three months, but if you do see that the bristles are wearing out, it may be every month, every month and a half. Really? That seems like a lot, even if it looks fine. Can we boil them and save on all the toothbrush uh, purchasing? Well, you boil them if you want, and it'll get rid of all the bacteria in it. Okay. You put it in your microwave for two to three minutes, oh. and make sure that you let it cool down before you <laughs> use it again, right? You don't want to irritate your gums with a hot toothbrush, <laughs> but it will destroy any bacteria that are on there. Is that a good idea to do after we've had a cold or something? Very good. It's actually probably a good idea after you have a flu or a cold to throw out your toothbrush and get a new one. For the expense and for the benefits, it's probably a good idea. Man, just picturing all the, the landfills filling up with toothbrushes, but it is important. And how do we keep our breath fresh? Well, you can do many things. First of all, it's the foods that you eat, mm -hmm. right? If you like onions, onions are great, they're very tasty, but what they do is the byproduct from onions is sulfur. And sulfur gets in your blood, gets in your lungs, and you expel that. So what you can do is not only brush your teeth, brush your tongue, because a lot of the foods get on that, but you can also choose the proper foods, like fennel, Mustard seed, mustard seed, parsley. It'll help dilute the sulfur and also help freshen your breath. Okay, because it starts from down here, and so what's coming up is a lot fresher smelling. Uh, it, chewing gum, okay? Chewing gum's excellent, actually. You want to chew with sugarless gum. What gum does? It actually stimulates the saliva flow. And a recent study in the, in the International Journal of Dentistry has actually shown that strawberry gum stimulates saliva better than any other flavor. Isn't that funny? Because it's tangy, I guess. It's tangy. It stimulates the saliva flow, and saliva is our own natural detergent. Right on. I guess that's why toddlers are drooling so much, right? They're cleaning their teeth. Uh, well, you've brought some props here. What can, we, what can we look at? Well, we've got a model of a tooth, of teeth, and it's important not only to brush your teeth after every meal, but it's important to do it properly. Oh, okay. What's right? the wrong way to do it? Well, the wrong way to do it is start scrubbing your teeth like that, because when you start scrubbing your teeth like that, not only can you 
wear away the gum, but you can wear away the teeth as well. Yeah, and then you go through painful uh, uh, gum surgery. Tooth sensitivity, that type of thing, yeah. when you expose the root surface. So the proper way to do it is to angle your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle, make sure those bristles are fitting nicely in that space between the tooth and the gum, and just rock it ever so gently like this. And then on bottom teeth, roll the toothbrush up. Sweep it away. Sweep it away. And that toothbrush isn't anything fancy, it's just a regular toothbrush. Regular it's it's how, you, how you use it, right? Right. It's not about the car that you drive, it's all about how to know how to drive that car, right? That's right. So doing it properly is very, very important. How long should we be brushing? Two to three minutes. Really? Two to three minutes. 30 seconds in each quadrant. Huh. Upper right, upper left, lower right, lower left. And if you want to time it, get yourself an egg timer. Okay. It's an easy way to do it. Set it at two to three minutes, and when you're done, you know you've brushed your teeth with the adequate 15, amount of time. 15, and then get inside 15, 15, 15, no, 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 no. Okay. 30 mm. seconds in each squadron. That's Eight a good minutes. idea to have the timer because you can get distracted when you're brushing your teeth and forget what you've done. And what is the proper way to floss? You said there is a right way and a wrong way. Well, if you want to take floss, don't take a little piece of floss, right? You want to take a big piece of floss, 18 inches, right? And you want to wrap it around like this, right? So you got nice piece of floss here and you floss the tooth and after you've done one or two teeth get a fresh piece wrap it around like that so you always have a fresh piece when you're going in and if you're going to use those little toothpicky things make sure that you have a few of them available rather than using the same one for your whole mouth yeah that's true yeah okay see it's important and it's going to make a big difference in your overall health too right absolutely thank you so much for more information dr gary glassman dot blogspot .ca, and you can read all about his fabulous uh, Goodwill Oral Health Project, too. When we come back, muffin frittatas with Carol Harrison. And then we will brush our teeth. <laughs>